Check the bearing specification marked on the motor nameplate. Prepare the work tools. Check the power cables disconnecting. Remove the coupling and clean the workspace before disassembling the motor. Disassemble the fan cover using the impact drill or spanner. Disassemble the fan clamp, fan, fan key, and the shaft seal on the opposite drive end. Disassemble the inner bearing cap bolts and the end shield bolts, and then disassemble the end shield on the opposite drive end. Using the snap ring flyer, remove the snap ring securing the bearing inner race. And remove the bearing on the opposite drive end using the hydraulic gear puller. Disassemble the inner bearing cap after checking the drive end, opposite drive end location, and the top and bottom direction to prevent wrong work when you reassemble it. Remove the shaft key and seal on the drive end. Disassemble the inner bearing cap bolts and the end shield bolts and then disassemble the end shield on the drive end. Using the snap ring flyer, remove the snap ring securing the bearing inner race. And remove the bearing on the drive end using the hydraulic gear puller. Disassemble the inner bearing cap after checking the drive end, opposite drive end location, and the top and bottom direction to prevent wrong work when you reassemble it. Apply grease on the inner bearing cap and insert it on the shaft. Insert the inner bearing cap in the same direction as before disassembly. Check drive end, opposite drive end location, and top bottom direction. Heat the inner race of the bearing with the induction heater. Assemble the bearings onto the shaft of both sides. After cooling the bearing, assemble the snap ring securing the bearing inner race on the shaft of both sides. and inject the grease on the bearing evenly. Assemble the end shields of both sides in reverse order of disassemble. Tighten the end shields bolts and then tighten the inner bearing cap bolts. Tip! You can easily assemble the inner bearing cap if the one or two inner bearing cap bolts are loosely assembled before tightening the end shield bolts. Assemble the seal on the shaft of both sides. And assemble the key on drive end. Assemble the fan key. Fan. Fan clamp. Fan cover in that order. After assembly, manually rotate the shaft to check if there are any defects.